morning it is currently 7 20. um it's been a little while since i last filmed the video so i thought i would um film something for you guys um because i'm going to be doing a few things over the next couple of days well nothing majorly interesting um but today i'm going to my sister's house and i need to drink my tea before it gets cold just drinking some lemon tea you guys know i absolutely love lemon tea um so yeah today i'm going to my sister's house she's going to be picking me i'm going to be looking after my niece and my nephews for the day um because they're doing some online school work. so yeah my sister's going to be picking me up soon so i need to uh just do my hair and my makeup and also pack my bag um and then i'll be pretty much ready to go doing my makeup um i haven't worn makeup since the last time i filmed so that was a good couple of weeks ago um i've just decided to keep my hair in place so i thought i would really quickly mention that i recently bought myself a switch light so i went for the gray one a lot of you guys will probably have expected me to go for the coral one. i'm really a huge fan of coral i prefer like pastel pink and i'm just going to customize it um so that's something i'm going to be doing over time um but i'll speak more about that a little bit later on in this um vlog pretty much got a switch light so i could play um animal crossing um i haven't actually started the game yet i have set up the switch but i'm going to um start playing animal crossing um on the friday and i'm just going to film a little bit of that for you guys um because i thought that would be quite fun i played wild wild as a child um and then a few months ago i bought a uh, 3ds xl and new leaf which i have been loving there's only one other game that i'm um, gonna play on it which is professor layton um but other than that, I pretty much just got a switch to play Animal Crossing. So I got this lovely little PR package um, a couple of days ago and I just thought I would um, show you guys. So I'm going to butcher the name of this brand, but I think it's called Eastrid. Eastrid, I think. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that so basically a company that sells eco-friendly razors they also have a few products on their website as well um surrounding like shaving and stuff so I think they do like a shaving cream they sent me a razor um and I'm really really excited to try this out um because I have been trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly um with a lot of the products that I use often so for the past year I've pretty much cut out using face wipes I use a cleansing oil now to remove my makeup um a couple of months ago I cut out using um cotton pads um which i would usually use to like clean my face um and i've replaced that with reusable bamboo ones so you can just pop them in the washing machine which is great um i recently bought myself a let me see if i can find i recently got myself this deodorant i'm not sure if deodorant is the is the correct word for it because i get confused with like the different meaning so i got this the other day it was really expensive it was like 12 pounds and it's really really tiny um but i don't really feel like it works for me so it's a bit of a shame but the packaging i think it's made from like sugar cane um and this is a vegan product so very slowly i've just been trying to replace things that i use a lot with more eco-friendly stuff so i was really really happy when that brand got in contact with me about the razor and the good thing is you can actually um just repurchase the blades the blades again so i think they have like a little subscription where you can get them i think like every month every two months or every three months so i'm going to test it out and if i like it then i'm just going to continue to buy the razors so this is the starter kit so it comes with a solid steel razor two blades and a wall holder and this packaging is so cute i love the color of this okay so you open it up and then you've got this little package inside okay so you've got some leaflets here so this is a little holder that you get which suctions onto the wall in your bath so here's the razor and it's so pretty love the fact that it's pink it's got a really nice weight to it feels really good quality it doesn't feel cheap at all um, and it feels really comfortable to hold it's got like this nice sort of rubber feeling bit right here Tap on the razor to cut them um, to protect it and then here's the second one which you can use once this one goes dull um, and then i'll show you guys what the little 
wall mount looks like so here it is super cute it's really nice and simple um, it's made out of the same material as the um, razor itself and yeah that would look really cute suctioned on to the bathroom so I'm really really happy with this can't wait to test this product out I'll probably mention it in a um, upcoming video and yeah so just thought I would share this with you guys I didn't have to um because it's just a pr package um but yeah definitely check them out if you guys are looking for a really nice vegan eco-friendly razor so i'm really looking forward to seeing my sister my niece and my nephews because i haven't seen them for months um i'm also really looking forward to seeing the pets as well because my nephews have two gerbils and my niece has a adorable hamster called coco i love her so much she's so cute um so my sister's actually going to be picking me up in a minute so i need to pack my bag and i also need to get my um ted baker travel bag ready because my sister wants to borrow that um i've got some treats for the pets one of them i did buy uh for my hamster that i was going to get like two months ago i never actually got around to getting a hamster i think i'm probably going to get one uh next month fingers crossed um but i just thought i would uh bring some treats for the pets so i don't know if you guys remember when i got this like two months ago i think so this is the rosewood naturals harvest festival um this is a really popular product especially on instagram i'm not sure if this is suitable for gerbils as well um i'll have to like properly look at the ingredients before i give them any but this is 100 percent safe for hamsters with um, the bits and bobs that I'm gonna need for today. So I've got my Ted Baker water bottle, which I love. It's a really nice um, glass one because I love drinking water. Um, I've also got my iPad so I can do some editing if I want to. Got my phone, I've got some food. So I've got this cake here. I've got jelly, custard, and I've also got some curry, rice and veg um, and a packet of crisp as well. Um, and then I've also got this bottle. And I've just got some lemon tea in there. I just need to add water and this is a really nice bottle from uh, Skinny Dip. So yeah. <music> open and I already have one and then I've got this as well it's already open but I don't have a hamster and I don't want it to go on and I think the gerbils can have that as well with my niece. Um, my nephews are doing their online lessons in the uh, living room so one's on the computer one's on the laptop um and me and my niece are just chilling out really well i'll get you yeah. how many like two every yeah. year so one and two first and then three four here's acorn he's awake nutmeg that is a cute name i know
So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my uh, switch. So as I said earlier in this video, I went for the grey switch. It is a lot darker than um, how it looks on the box. Eventually, I am going to have a pastel pink skin over it. Um, so eventually, you won't see any grey. It will just be all uh, pastel pink. So I'm waiting for my thumb grits to arrive. Um, I've also got two pink cases on the way, but I have got a clear case to use at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. Um, and I actually decorated it. So I've only done the front so far. I still need to do the back. Um, but yeah, so this is what the case looks like and I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on. So at the back, I don't know if you can see, but it's got these grips here which make it a bit more comfortable to hold. Um, I've just got these two really cute stickers here. And then this is the front of it and it looks absolutely beautiful. So it took me about three hours. It's gonna look so much nicer once I have a pink skin on there. Um, it does make it just a little bit um, more difficult to uh, like reach all the buttons, but it's not too bad and it's something that I could, you know, easily adjust to. So just before I get into the game, I thought I would um, just share something with you really quick. Oh, and also this little Animal Crossing character on my um, phone screen. Uh, this is Primrose from my town in uh, Newly. So this is the Animal Crossing New Horizon guide. It's a really cool app um, if you're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. So here you can see there's the profile um, and there's all sorts of things that's in this app. So there's breeding for flowers, it's like a breeding guide. Um, you've got the turnip calculator so you can put the prices of your um, turnips for the week which I'm going to be getting into, the stalk market. Um, and then it's got all the mystery islands and loads of like useful things, um, reactions, and you can keep track of a lot of stuff. And it also tells you like um, what fish and bugs are available that month and all that kind of stuff. So I just thought I would go ahead and share that with you guys. So let's get into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my switch on. I'm really excited, but I'm quite nervous at the same time because um, I'm probably gonna have to restart the game a couple of times because I'm one of those really fussy people that want like a certain type of island. So I've downloaded the game already. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, fingers crossed they actually show me decent maps the first time round. Uh, no, I don't like any of them. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to restart. Okay, the map, I want a map where the residential services and the airport are on the lower right hand side. So I want my um, residential services to be close to the airport. So here's the maps that I got and I do not like any of them. I also want a blue airport as well so I'm probably gonna have to reset a few times until I get the map and the airport that I like. Um, yeah so let's restart. This 
is the third time I've um, restarted a game um, and these are the maps that I have got this time round. So I think I'm going to go for this one at the bottom. Um, it isn't exactly what I wanted uh, but I feel like this is the best one I have seen so far. I'm talking about this one by the way and it's also got two uh, river outlets on the bottom. I think that's what they're called, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but basically the ends of the river um, are both pointing south which I do kind of like. So let's go for this one. The yellow, the yellow one. Oh, there's apples. No! See, I knew I would get the yellow airport. No, okay, we're gonna have to restart again. And I don't like the two starting villages either, so let's restart all over again. So I've kind of decided that I do, like these ones are not too bad, these maps. So this one I feel like, I like that it is on the right but the residential services is too far away from the airport which is this one. Um, this one. Hmm. I think it'll be between this one and this one. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, I have pears, which I don't mind because they're green. A lot of people don't like pears, but I don't mind pears. Uh, okay, come on, blue apple. Yes, I got blue apple. Oh my God, the villages are so cute. I got a penguin and a squirrel. Okay, I'm really happy now. <laughs> I just got my map as well okay so let's go and explore so I do know that when you like first start the game you only have access to a small part of the island um, so here's my map down here so I'll only be able to access this part of the island until you get I think the pole vault and you also get a ladder a little bit later on as well so you can climb the cliffs but I'm really really happy with the fact that I got pears because they're green um, I like the fact that I have a blue airport I'm really happy about that um, let me see how far away it is from the residential services it's not too far away actually that's actually not that bad I'm quite happy with how close it is um, right, so let's find where I want to put my tent. I don't think I want to put it on the beach because we can put stuff on the beach now. Um, I do really like this. I love this area here because on um, New Leaf I always um, hate the fact that I didn't have a town where I could have a bridge that just crossed straight over at this angle. So I love that so much. There's a rock. Um, there's, what was her name? I think it was Flo. She's deciding where to put her tent. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, this is really nice. Up here. This reminds me of the, um, the little bit on the, on the trailer. The bit where the girl was pole vaulting over. I think I'm going to put my tent, like, maybe around here, I think. Let me just check out the rest of this area. Or maybe I could put my tent here. I don't know, I'm so indecisive. This is just such a difficult task. <laughs> I know I can always move it, but oh, here's the beach. 
This is really nice. I don't think I want it too close to the beach. I want it more up over here, I think. No, I think I want it a bit more forward. Um, I think this is nice. I think that will be alright, even though I'll probably hate it later. <laughs> I think that's an okay spot. It's a bit annoying that I've got a pear tree right in front though. <laughs> can I change the camera angle? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Okay. I want to take a picture. <laughs> 